What that song is saying about is what baptism is all about. That the resurrected King is resurrecting me. That with Christ I have died. We, we put the person being baptized under the water to symbolize that they have died with Christ. The old self is gone. And that they have ra been raised again with Him. There is new life in Him. New birth in Him. And that God has done that work internally in their heart. And now they are proclaiming that for you all to hear. And so this is a, a, a powerful, powerful testimony of God's work in the life of a believer. Baptism doesn't save. There's nothing mystical or magical about this water. We're just saying that God has already done it. And we want you all to know. That the, the power of sin is broken. That the penalty of sin has been removed. And so let's hear specifically how God has done His work in Madison's life. I've grown up going to different churches over the years, and I came from a Christian household. Before I actually believed in Jesus, I sinned a lot. I never realized how empty I felt before I surrendered my life to Jesus, and He became my Savior. I was at a Bible camp one summer when I heard about believing in Jesus, and I surrendered my life to him when I was 10 years old. Also, I began to understand what Jesus meant when he said in John 14, 6, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. This truth was apparent to me at QPRC where I work. Christ was shown in the residents' lives and how a lot of their conversations were about him. I wanted that in my life too and made a decision to want to be baptized back in the fall. But God had his own time frame for me. We don't always understand why we go through certain circumstances in our lives. I've gone through a lot of different things over the years. And I can tell you I wouldn't have been able to go through them if Jesus wasn't by my side and in control. Jesus doesn't just change certain things about you, but everything once you receive the Holy Spirit. The Spirit convicts you when you make wrong choices and you start seeing things differently. I believe that Jesus has a purpose for everyone, and He only puts difficult situations in your life to draw you closer to Him. These past few months have been a huge struggle for me, and everyone kept telling me it's just a hard age, and that once you do things God's way, everything will change and get better. My faith in Jesus was really tested because in the past I felt like I would go to church and obey my parents, but then I started making decisions that my parents and God weren't proud of. I realized I did believe in Jesus, but I never surrendered everything over to Him and fully trusted him. I dealt with wanting control of certain circumstances and I still deal with that now. But I realized something doing things my way and doing it my own strength might seem better in the moment, but in the long run it just makes everything worse and only God can satisfy us. Yeah. This past October to mid-December was a low point in my life. I felt extremely worthless and that even God wanted nothing to do with me. I um, honestly felt like I would keep making mistakes after mistakes and there's no hope. I did deal with depression. I felt like for a while that nothing in my life would ever get better. I argued with a lot of people I cared about and experienced strained relationships with these people. I did realize though later that these thoughts I was dealing with were just lies from Satan. Satan wants to ruin your relationship with God and other people. The thing is God loves everyone so much and wouldn't want anyone to think he doesn't care about them. He doesn't stop loving you even when it feels like he does and even if you keep sinning, he'll continue. continue. He will pursue you no matter how far you drift from him. That's because of Jesus and how he died for us on that cross so that all our sins will be forgiven and our relationship will be restored with him. The truth is, we all sin, and I encourage you today to ask God for forgiveness of a recent sin if you haven't lately. If you ever feel worthless in your life, I'm sure you can relate to what I'm saying, but be encouraged and take time to read the Bible because you'll understand too that these are just lies that Satan tells us. I am so thankful for you, my church family, because the support for me has helped me make positive changes in my life. Thank you to everyone who would meet with me or been praying for me. The love from all of you at Oak Hill was a blessing. I can tell you that once I started changing how I felt and wanting to do things God's way, not my way, everything changed. I got along better with my parents. And those past feelings were gone. I realized that even during the hard time, God never left my side. The same goes for all of you. Everything that happens in life is part of God's plan. 
because of what happened to me over these past few months, my relationship with God is now stronger, and I'm now happier doing it His way. I'm here today to publicly declare my belief in Jesus Christ as my Savior, and I'm following His example by being baptized. Say, one Bible verse that means a lot to me is Galatians 2.20. I've been crucified and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. In the life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave Himself, gave himself for me. So, one of the things that, that we also like to do, uh, because of the verse that I read earlier, uh, fathers do not provoke your children to wrath, but raise them to discipline and instruction of the Lord. Uh, the primary responsibility for discipleship of our kids has been given to the parents, and uh, the responsibility especially to the fathers. And so we, we uh, try as much as possible uh, to have Dad help us baptize uh, because he is making disciples of his kids. And, um, and, and that's a representative of him and, uh, and, and the mom. And, uh, and so um, just understand that's what's going on here as you, as you see this visual picture of, of Madison really expressing what the verse that she just read. I have been crucified with Christ. Therefore, it is no longer I who live, but it is Christ who lives in me. And the life that I live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and who gave himself for me. And so, Madison, uh, because you have made that profession, are you now committing to follow Jesus in the fellowship of the local church? Yes, I do. And it is my privilege that you just want to put your arm behind her as well. <laughs> This is like way over here. She's so light. <laughs> <laughs> it is my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.